Hey guys, got to come over to you here. I'm going to do a little review on my tank I made. Um, we'll just start from top to bottom. You get well, um, one of my mini. I put one of my mini figures in it. Um, I thought I'd put a mini figure in it just because it's cool. Um, cool vest that my friend gave me. Same with the torso and legs, cause this is a weird colored leg. And torso, you don't get it. You know, normal white face, like peach color. Um, Mitch helmet that's brown. Um, he goes right in the tank. Right on the top. Um, you're probably gonna wanna. Well, there you go. It's like that. Um, really nice built tank. Pretty large, fairly large. Uh, so I think I did. I give this tank I built like seven out of ten, just cause of the treads. I didn't have enough tank treads, so I made like tank tread wheels instead. It actually looks pretty cool, but I put, see this, uh, sort of bricks right here? It's to cover up all the Technic stuff under it that might make it look sort of crappy, I'll show you. You know, like all that Technic. So, a lot of Technic work in it. Cool machine gun sort of feature here. You can also see this in weekly update number three. Um, I'm working on my Lego City. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. I'm 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 thinking about making it like a mock or a level a Lego city. I really don't know. So uh just leave a comment and see what I should do, like what kind of mock I could do with this sort of look I've already made right now. Got the cool tank that could I mean, depending on what mock I should do, like you know, the tank could be rubbing down the road. Pretty big tank, but it just fits the the road's pretty enormous. Pretty wide, so it works. I added a little ladder to it. Um, it's just a cool feature. The top, it's cool because it goes 360 degrees. And that's awesome. But, yeah. Really nice. Sort of slapped on my brick arms M1919. Um, this, this video is also going to be on how to make an awesome machine gun. That can also go on here. If you wanted it to. No, I don't have the setup for it, but I I suppose I could build it really quick for you because this is part of the video. I need to stabilize my camera slash well iPad because well anyways you're gonna wanna take a piece like this. You're gonna wanna put a normal black stud on top. right here okay upside down uh... you're gonna wanna take one of these and put it on the back like so you're gonna want a normal Lego sort of bar and add it down the front and on so it should look like that and on the bottom, you're going to put a normal, like, mount sort of brick. So you can mount it onto things. So, you know, you can swivel it. Really cool thing. And you guys should use it if you have the pieces. Alright, back to the tank. Um, actually, one of the tank pieces fell off. It would go right here. Um... I think the front of the tank came out the best. I added a, a really cool design for that. Cool, really nice how it, you know, forms up. And also the uh, coolest thing I think on it is the top. I added a rare color green that you usually find it like Lego Alien Conquest sets. So just, uh, and same with this, which is a cool thing to add. That little thing. Um really not that fragile. I mean, you could... It's pretty blocky. I made it to a smooth look. The back is really nice looking. Uh, it's got like this little, you know, thing you lift up. And you, I guess in like a video that could be like how you put your guys in the tank. Or they could like jump through the top. I really don't know. But, yeah, I got my custom like sort of 
barrel. This doesn't go up and down, guys. Sorry. So, but it spins. Like, I mean, it could be like a crazy minigun or something. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. It could be like a blaster. And it could also work for like Lego Star Wars. Even like a World War II for movies. I mean, if you're gonna... I mean, you can look at this thing and say it's a panzer. I mean, it's just your normal tank. It could be for anything, really. I mean, it's just a cool thing to have. And really, depending on what, what you put on it really makes it. Um, For example, like, I could even make it an Lego Alien Conquest sort of thing if I smacked on, you know, like that. Or it, even an alien would actually look pretty nice. Let me find an alien. Anything really works, you know? It's just an awesome set. Um, depending, really, what you're doing. One sec. Can look at the cool tank. Well, actually, you're going to have to... The tank treads. Yay. You're going to... Just one second. Hold on. I'm going to make it like a Lego World War II German sort of look. Back on one of my custom Germans, and with an MG42, I guess that looks pretty awesome. If you don't agree, well, that's your own opinion. So, uh, even like, especially with the M1919 on it, as the old school, you know, LMG, uh, it could, it's just a cool design, I guess. Uh, I'm going to get into Lego Force Police. I'm going to have a couple of reviews on that. Really awesome. And to finish up the review, stick a World War II. So, yeah, you can just sort of see how it works with every sort of era from the modern combat to even like Lego Star Wars and Lego Alien Conquest to Lego World War II and just... You, is there so much you could do with this tank, in particular? I mean, it still has an old-school look, while still being modern at the same time, so it's really awesome. This is Kodak's X-Mark. See you later.